Hey guys, this is Vincent with Vasco Toys. On today's episode of Action Vasco, we're going to be taking a look at my first ever dojo diorama, which was made to fit in an IKEA DTOF. But before we do, let's take a quick look at the concept sketch. Alright, now let's take a look at the diorama. So this is the first ever at Asco Toys Dojo Diorama, and I was inspired to create this diorama when I got my Snake Eyes figure from my Hasbro Pulse pre-order, and uh, so I designed the diorama kind of around him and the weapon rack that he comes with, which I'll show you guys in the diorama in another shot, but he's really a great figure if if anybody is a huge fan of G.I. Joe or just likes ninjas and action figures that come with a lot of really cool accessories then this is definitely a figure for you. So this diorama is designed to fit in an Ikea Detoff so it's 14 inches wide, 13 inches deep and this one's a tight squeeze in the dial Typically, uh, uh, excuse me, in the DTOF, typically a DTOF shelf is about 15 inches high, and I believe this is 14 inches or 14 and a half. So it definitely does fit in a DTOF, but it's going to be a tighter squeeze than some of my other DTOF dioramas have been in the past. It is fully magnetized like all of my other dioramas usually are. So we've got two walls that are identical um, with windows um a big window and then two smaller windows on the top level um, for each of the wall pieces and then there's some other um you know cool features to this that we'll take a closer look at in just a minute here for the dojo Okay, so I went ahead and removed this sidewall just to give you guys a different angle on the diorama so I can show you a few things. But this diorama, I did you know a good amount of research on what Japanese dojos typically look like and kind of came up with my own design based on images that I found on Google Images and this is what I came up with. So 
we have uh, hardwood floors as really the base to the floor. And then on top of that, permanently glued down is sort of like a um, kind of a training area type mat. And I created this part out of project foam. So it's, it's not going to be uh, super, super durable, but it definitely gives you the look that you want for that uh, martial arts mat kind of kind of look and I think that the hardwood floors came out well with you know that's kind of a traditional staple in a dojo so we've got that there, there as well then what I did was a couple of different things with woodwork on this so all of all of this is XPS insulation foam but you have um, a beam here a beam here and then the windows are framed with two wooden beams as well and then I wanted to go with a different look so I kind of created these little wood panels and painted them a slightly different color for the bottom part of the window and then I have this big kind of wooden chunk up here that is um, serving to reinforce the windows on the top row. The, the top part of this diorama has, um, of course we've got the two wooden pillars and then we have the wood piece running across the top here that is supporting those windows. And then I also have, similar to the wood panels under the window, I have painted them the same color as, uh, as that. And there's actually two different levels to this. So there's the back wall part, and then there's these little support beams that run, uh, run along to support this piece um, on the wooden pillars. So I'm really happy with the way all of that came out. And then uh, we also have two signs that I made, which are made out of cardstock. And then actually just, I soaked them in coffee and uh, baked them in the oven at 250 for like 10 minutes to give them an older feel to it. And this one has a little bit of uh, difference in the color, which I kind of really like for this. And I'm not sure if, uh, of course, I don't... Um, speak Japanese or read Japanese, but when I look these up, th this symbol means strength, this symbol means honor, so I thought that those fit well in a dojo setting. Wanted to show you guys quickly too the windows themselves. So like I said, both of the walls have identical windows and the window frames are 3D printed out of uh, PLA, um, designed in Tinkercad as most of my things are. But um, basically what I did was I've got the 3D printed window frames. Behind that is a layer of action figure plastic. And then behind that is a layer of vellum paper. And you'll see uh, there's some light shining through here. So you can put an LED behind that and get this kind of effect. Or you can just put it next to a window, which is what I've actually done here to get that uh, lit up dojo effect if you want. And you can do some really cool things with different color lights. If you want to have a more of a night effect, you could put some blue light there. Or if you want to do a golden hour, uh, you can kind of use a gold filter to make that happen. So here's a setup that I did with my new Snake Eyes figure where he is in a dramatic after slash kind of pose he's defeated scourge and the aim soldier who came into the dojo with their guns and snake eyes took them both out with just his sword here so for anyone who doesn't have this snake eyes figure from hasbro pulse uh it's it was awesome it's an awesome figure and the accessories and weapon rack that came with the pre-order are phenomenal so if you uh if you did get that then you know how cool this is but uh, definitely this dojo was designed for Snake Eyes and for the weapon rack. So I think that, you know, of course, he works really, really well in here with these kinds of shots. So here we have a shot that I set up ACBA style with Wolverine, who is hitting the Wing Chun wooden dummy uh, during a training session and is surprised to see Storm and Professor X come in during his training session and in my mind they're trying to convince him that the X-Men need him to return to the U.S. from Japan 
and help them with some sort of mission. But this this dial, when I originally designed it, I wasn't thinking you can put X-Men in here, but since Wolverine has his whole storyline in Japan, I think that this diorama does work well with some Wolverine shots. So one other thing I wanted to show you guys with this is this Wing Chun wooden dummy that I 3D printed out of PLA. So it's actually five different pieces, all three of these little uh, pillar arm pieces that come out, the main pillar and the base piece. The base piece and the main pillar are permanently glued together, but there are actually four spots to stick arms out of here and they're interchangeable and these are not glued in, they just kind of peg in. So I have those uh, included in this diorama and I left it black, normally they're made out of wood, but I left it black just because I was getting inspiration from Snake Eyes for this diorama. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, leave the black in there for the Wing Chun on this one. So you can see how it scales with the Snake Eyes figure and Definitely pretty pretty happy with the way that it came out and think that you can get some pretty cool shots with it in the dojo. So I almost forgot to give you guys a shot of the dojo with the Snake Eyes weapon rack that came with it. So I have all his weapon accessories that came with this on the rack except for the sword that he's currently holding in his hand which is honestly my favorite sword so I usually pose him with that sword I like the one on his back but it's kind of harder to put into in his hand but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw the rack in the dojo because when I designed the dojo diorama I designed it with the the idea that that rack would sit there because um, I think it really brings the whole thing together. Um, I definitely think it works, you know, if for someone who doesn't have this snake eyes and weapon rack. I definitely think the dojo would work for a lot of different things. Um, but, you know, for me, if I were going to be keeping this diorama, I would definitely use the, the, the weapon rack in the display. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Action Vasco where we took a look at my dojo diorama. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when we have new videos that come out. Other than that, please follow us at Vasco Toys, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.